guys hi it's miss sunshine <clears throat> so i wanted to do this quick little video for you guys oh my god do y'all see this hair do y'all see this hair look can you guys see all of these grays in this hair it's crazy um i might do a hair video just show you guys because like my hair is like seriously right here like it believe it or not it is it's long I love it <laughs> but anyway that's not what this video is about um so this video is about an update on me and my phenomene so so I stopped taking the phenomene for a while um but I want to kind of revamp so I want to bring you guys up to date on what I'm doing now um so last year I was at my highest weight of 299 pounds. I refused to get to 300. So I started um, going to my PCP. He put me on phenamine um, at my request. And um, I was on and off of it because it was making my chest hurt. So we finally found a combination of taking a whole pill one day and a half the next. And that ended up uh, working well for my body. So, um, I ended up getting off of it, ended up, because of the bariatric surgery I was trying to have, I ended up um, having gallbladder surgery, as you guys can see in my other videos, and um, all is well, everything's fine from that, but um, I gained weight back. I gained weight back because I started back eating any and everything that I wanted, and it was crazy. I got up to, well, see... Let me start over. Um, when I first started, I was at 299. I got down with phenamine and with kickboxing. Um, I got down to 266. Okay. And now, uh, after I did my first checkup after my gallbladder surgery, I was at 288. So I gained a lot of weight back after I was supposed to be losing weight for my next bariatric surgery. So, um, my, my, when I went in for my checkup for my gallbladder surgery, I ended up, you know, asking my doctor, when do you think the bypass can be done? He said that the bypass cannot be done till you lose 20 pounds because you still need to lose some weight to shrink that liver and shrink those organs in there so he could see. So, um, made sense to me, made sense. So, um, at the, at the end of April, I started back taking the phenamine. I still had pills left over cause I stopped completely taking the phenamine for like two months. Like I just stopped. Um, especially since I was having the gallbladder surgery, but anyway, um, I don't want to get off topic cause I want this video to be short and I'm already at three minutes. Um, so anyway, now fast forward to tonight which is june 11th earlier today i went to my pcp and he weighed me and i am currently at 277 so he was happy to see the 10 pounds gone i'm happy i also have an appointment june 21st of um so that's in a couple weeks uh with my bariatric surgeon so so i plan on just continuing to lose um, when I first started losing weight, I was taking the phenamine and I was, um, walking. That was after I had the gallbladder surgery. So I was walking and taking phenamine right there at the end of May and it ended up working wonders for me. I was actually losing like a pound a day. Um, this phenomenon is craving my appetite. It's giving me energy to get up and move, especially if I take a whole pill, I cannot sit still. And I am currently working from home. So I'm sitting at my desk all day and I can feel my heart pounding. Like I got to move, like I get like the shakes where I got to get up and move. So girlfriend is cleaning. Okay. That's all I can do. Um, I walk on my 15 minute breaks. I have a very nice brand new subdivision. So I walk up in here and try to get as much exercise in as possible um currently only doing a mile or two a day but i am trying to incorporate more um i got a couple girlfriends that are doing like five six miles a day and i really want to push myself to get that extra um time in because with me walking and i'm already heavy set i can i can get this weight off of me by watching what i'm eating 
um, exercising and just not eating as much like I'm I'm snacking throughout the whole day because I don't have an appetite I really don't have an appetite but I know I need to eat something so what have I been doing to make sure I'm eating well besides my daughter she threatens me she, she threatens me and I got a girlfriend that will text me and she will threaten me in the text it's like what'd you eat today <laughs> So with those two threatening me and on me, I'm making sure I'm eating. But when I'm not eating, I do meal replacements with protein shakes. Okay, so let me grab real quick what I'm currently drinking. Okay, I'm back. All right, so this is this is what I'm currently drinking. This is what I'm currently drinking. I get this out of Walmart for a six pack. This is so good. It's so good. I love this. Okay, so, all right, so I'm almost at six minutes. So I'm drinking these as meal replacements. So probably in the morning when I wake up, I'm going to take a whole pill. It's because it'll be a Saturday. And I really um, think that I'm going to get out and mow my yard. So that'll be my walking and my exercise. And I'm going to have this as a meal replacement for my breakfast. I might have another one for lunch and just eat a dinner. Lately, that's what I've been doing. And that's been working wonders for me and my body. And I feel okay. I feel just fine. And I can tell that I might not be losing a lot of pounds. But around my waist, like I can't show you guys, but around my waist, I can definitely tell that something's going on because my my pants are getting loose again. And I really want to get back down to that, those 60s. The goal here is to lose 100 pounds, if I haven't said that before. So that is all I have for this video. I want to try to make it as short as possible and to go ahead and get it out there. Um, my NACA buyers, if you're watching this, don't think I forgot about you. I got some things going on uh, personally that I've been dealing with and it's really just changed um, my entire life, but for the good. So um, I will see you guys in my next video. Pray for me. Um, get out there and do some things. Uh, the phenomene is not for everybody. The phenomene is not for everybody, but if you can handle it, and you know how to use it and you don't abuse it, then it can be another tool for you to be able to lose weight. Okay. All right. That's all I got for this video, guys. Bye.